name is Cynthia Perez. I live in the Madera Ranchos. I've been out here for five years now. And I've been without water for two years. And we've been out of water because the people next door to us ran out of water and the bank took over the house and they drilled. And as soon as they started drilling, they impacted our well, I think, and um, that's how it happened. It just stopped completely. So I went to check the, the faucet and there's no water. My name is Scott Houston. I live in Auberry, California. I am a potable water hauler. That means I haul drinking water by the truckload and deliver it to people's storage tanks for their home use. And the first couple of years, it was slow, but it was okay. Doing pretty good. And as things turned out, the drought came along. And now, man, I'm just busier than I can sometimes handle. <laughs> sometimes I'm so busy I can't keep up with it all. Scott's been an angel. He's always there for us. Comes out right away if we run out like on a Saturday. He'll come right away and, and take care of us. Well, we can't drill right now because um, it's a lot of money to drill. And even if we do, if we drill here, we'll take the water from the neighbor. And then they'll drill and they'll take the water from us. And it'll just go back and forth like that because that's the way it's been happening for years and years now. Well, I've got probably about 30 wells. All of them have been impacted in the drought. Some of them have lost uh, as much as three quarters of their pumping capacity. Most of them are down by a third to two thirds. This year there was zero allocation from the districts, which was water, surface water, that, are, that comes from the mountains. So we were able to have to fire our, our wells up and pump out of the ground, where normally we wouldn't do that all summer long. When it came out in the springtime that, that it was announced that we weren't going to have any water, everybody got on the phone and started calling their local well driller. These guys are, are booked up somewhere in a year in advance. By drilling more wells, uh, growers were able to put more water in the field, but what that's causing is the whole water table is now dropping. All we're doing is drawing out of this glass of water, and there's no water being poured back into it. So as more and more wells are being drilled, to keep their crops alive. In some areas, the ground is actually falling in where the water is subsiding. So wherever that ground collapses in, those water tables will never be replenished. There's just no room for the water to go back in there. We've got ranch locations that we're drilling well over 1,000 feet, uh, 1,500 feet. Uh, there's some guys out on the west side that are going deeper than that. This one is gonna probably run about $50,000. And this is a shallow one. Uh, some wells will triple or quadruple that. These wells are expensive. Buying outside water is expensive, so it cuts my profit margin almost down to nothing. So at the beginning, we are paying $250 for 2,000 gallons of water. And the water would last us about seven, eight days. I would use a lot of uh, paper plates and, and quick showers. I've always thought about how it's going to affect my children because I have to um, be the water police and be pounding on the door or on the walls and stuff and my baby, he's five and he tells me he wants to take a bath and I can't do that for him, you know? It's a luxury. I'm making good money um, right now. I'm having to charge people for drinking water. Um, of course, when it rains, I am very happy. My truck isn't going to take care of everybody's problems. You know, we need all the rain and snow we can get, and that makes me happy when, when I do see that. I'd like to see some more of it.